marking the second week of early voting before the November midterms. Yes, and we have a look for you at the early voting numbers around the valley. So far in Hidalgo County, at least 58,000 voters have cast their ballot. In Cameron, just under 30,000 casting their early ballot. Early voting does end Friday, November 4th. Election Day is November 8th. And happening right now, we just have a little more than a week until Election Day. Candidates heading right here to the Valley to campaign. Today, it is Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke's day. That's right. He's expected to make his way to McAllen to talk about several topics and encourage the community to go vote. CBS 4's Jeremiah Marshall has more. Um, gives me a lot of hope that the newer generation is kind of standing up for and getting involved in things in the community that have an effect on them and their lives. Many supporters in Edinburgh came together rallying for the community to cast their votes and Democratic gubernatorial candidate Beto O'Rourke says there's lots of work that needs to be done in Texas. We lead the nation in school shootings, gun violence, the leading cause of death for kids, the least insured state in America, the most extreme abortion ban anywhere. We are so much better than this, but the only way to prove it is to get out there and vote. And with change, we can do some great things. Hidalgo County leaders say voting numbers are low this year, and those running in different positions believe coming together out in the open will make a difference. The way that we do it is we show up. We talk to our community members, we hear them out, we understand what's most important and critical for them in their daily lives, and have those hard conversations about the issues up and down uh, the ballot, really, of what we're fighting for here. Supporters say voters must do their part. People need to realize that you do have a voice. You do have, you know, you are recognized. Don't think that you're just, you know, voting and not having a, having a voice. The vote of the community is very powerful, and we are encouraging everybody not just to come themselves, but to bring everybody they know. O'Rourke also talked about education, the historic freeze of 2021, and how he wants to see Texas come together. Let's expand Medicaid so you're healthy enough and well enough to go to school, go to work, or raise your family. And let's make sure that we protect a woman's right in this state to make her own decisions about her own body and her own future. These are things that not just Democrats, but Republicans and independents alike can agree on. That's how I'm going to bring Texas together, get past this division, and move on to bigger and better things for all of us.